Before birds ruled the skies. The story of Avasor. A creature of two worlds. In the grand library of life, some chapters are written in stone, telling a story of transition. This is Avasor, a creature caught between two worlds. He has the feathers and wings of a bird, a whisper of the future. Yet, he carries the legacy of his ancestors, a reptile's jaw full of teeth and claws on his wings, a memory of hands. From my vantage point, a century and a half of research, I see him not as a failure of two designs, Incredible. but as a breathtaking success of one, a survivor. The Awkward Ascent. For him, the ground is a place of giants and constant threat. Safety lies in the canopy, but flight as we know it is not yet his to command. The ascent is not a graceful leap, but a laborious, desperate climb. He uses every tool his strange body possesses. The claws on his feet, the claws on his wings, his beak. It is an awkward, ugly scramble. But it is the price he pays for a moment of peace above the forest floor. The Gliding Hunter from his high perch, the world transforms. The canopy is not just a refuge. It is a hunting ground. Below, the forest floor teems with life. Insects, lizards, a banquet for those who can reach it. He cannot dive like a falcon or soar like an eagle. His gift is simpler and perhaps more crucial. It is the controlled fall. A leap of faith from the branch, wings spread, turning a clumsy descent into a silent, gliding dagger aimed at his unsuspecting prey. A shadow in the sky. But the sky, even this ancient sky, has its own set of rules and its own masters. The air is not empty. It is a territory fiercely contested we, fiercely contested. We, Brid is. I often wonder what he thought when he saw it. A pterosaur, a true master of flight. Soaring with an ease and grace he could only dream of. For this creature, a visor is not a marvel of transition. He is simply potential prey, a clumsy, feathered meal stranded between the ground and the sky. The lagoon's edge, driven from the relative safety of the canopy, he finds himself in a new world, the edge of the lagoon, a liminal space where water meets land. For a creature of two worlds, perhaps this is the most fitting of places. The threats are different here. Strange, swimming reptiles patrol the shallows. But so too are the opportunities. The water's edge is a treasure trove of small, stranded creatures. A feast for the quick and the clever. He must adapt or perish. The survivor's legacy. He survived by climbing, by gliding, by running. By being a master of no single trade, but a jack of all of them, he found his niche in the seams of his world, a testament to the power of adaptability. I put down my magnifying glass and look at his fossil again. This small stone bird, he wasn't an awkward failure. He was a pioneer, a beautiful, complicated promise of the billions of birds that would one day fill the skies.